Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by today's title that I'm going to be giving y'all a little haul from Goose Creek. Alright, so I did purchase from Goose Creek and this is my first time purchasing anything from them and I only got candles. I first heard of Goose Creek from Jasmine here on YouTube. I'll have her channel linked down below. But this is the box that it came in and it says Goose Creek. So if you guys are looking for a haul from Goose Creek to see what fall candles I purchased and like my first impression of them, then make sure you guys keep on watching. Also, if you're new to my channel and you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Uh, so, um, since it was my first time purchasing from Goose Creek, I only ordered like five candles. <clears throat> but I want to show y'all how it comes packaged. But, um, this is how it came packaged. Because I only ordered five, they just put it in these little crates. One crate that holds six candles, but I only have five. Alright, and I'll start with the one that I did burn for y'all because I did want to try it out and see how it burns and how far the smell goes just so I can give y'all like a mini review with my first impression. So the first candle which is a Halloween candle is Poison Apple and y'all look at the packaging. I think it's so cute. Yes, yeah, it says Halloween Collector's Edition 2021. It has a little spider web apple with um what is that? My mind, pregnancy brain is real, y'all. My mind is blank. With the skeleton head on it. I'm, I'm not sure, what is this, like an egg? I don't know. But anyways, when it lights up, it's so pretty because, like, it shines through some of the, the stuff up here. So I think their packaging is really cute and unique compared to other candle brands such as Bath and Body Works and other candles that I've tried. So I really like their packaging. The kids enjoy this candle. They were talking about it today and it smells good. So Poison Apple is, um, to me, it just smells like caramel. It has a strong caramel scent, but this is actually a light scent. It's not a strong scent. When you smell it from the packaging, you may think that it's going to be a little strong. At least I thought it was. But it's not. So it kind of smells like a caramel, a sweet caramel candy apple, I guess you would say. So that makes me think of fall. And it smells good. And it has, as you guys can see, it has little candies hanging down. So it smells like candy, a sweet caramel candy apple. And I'm, I mainly smell caramel. I'm trying to see if the scent is on the packaging. And it's not, so I will go ahead and look it up for y'all so I can let you guys know the scent notes. And I will have a link to each candle that I discuss in the description box down below. Alright, so for this one it says the prominent scent notes are poison apple, liquor, pecan, rich caramel, and vanilla. I mainly smell like the apple, like a, a caramel apple. That's what I smell like, a caramel candy apple. Um, yeah, and it smells really good. It smells really good, y'all. So, I like this. It does project throughout the house. This is not a super strong candle. Um, it could project more, but it's, like, soft and not annoying. So, like, scents like this that contains a lot of caramel, I don't like them too strong. So, I do like this one a lot. So, that's the only one that I've burned out of all of them. So, let's go ahead and get into the others. This one is not, okay, this one's just a fall candle. This is Autumn Sunset. Y'all look at the packaging, so pretty. And this didn't smell the way I, I thought it was gonna smell. It kind of smells man, like a little masculine, masculine a little bit. Let me look up the notes to Autumn Sunset. This one has prominent notes of F-I-R, is that fur? Fear, I don't know. Citrus, woods, amber, and sunbeam. So the reason why I got this because I like how it looks in the picture. Um, maybe I can show y'all. But y'all see how it, it looks when it when it's lit up. I just think it's going to look really pretty when I light it at night. So yeah, that was my main reason for getting this. And I was just like, autumn sunset, maybe I like it. But through the packaging, this smells like another light scent. It's not super strong. And something about it just smells clean and masculine. I'm sorry, I'm not good at describing this, but, um, yeah. 
nothing to it so we'll see how that burns and I will say this one came with like a dip in the middle it's not flat like the other one was this one came flat this one came with a dip in the middle and as you guys can see I did burn this the can the poison apple today and it burned perfectly nothing on the sides evenly yeah love that next we have and I got this third one with my husband in mind because he loves sweet potato pie so I was just like mmm we can have the house smell like sweet potatoes and this is sweet potato marshmallow and it just shows the sweet potato on here it looks so yummy who's ready for some sweet potato pie for Thanksgiving mmm this smells so good Ugh, I could eat this and normally I don't like like too gourmand of a sin but I think this one's good and to me this is probably the strongest smelling one out of all of the candles that I got all right and for sweet potato marshmallow the main prominent notes is fluffy marshmallow melted butterscotch sweet potato brown sugar and caramel and I pretty much smell all of that I love marshmallow scents first off so that's why I got it number one you smell the butterscotch, the sweet potato, the brown sugar, the caramel. I cannot wait to burn this and hopefully my house smells like I'm making some sweet potato pies. And I've never made a sweet potato pie and that's like one of my husband's favorite pies. So I guess I should learn right. <laughs> I should learn this Thanksgiving. But um, yeah, sweet potato, marshmallow. sweet potato marshmallow smells good I'm very excited to burn that one all right we only have two more the next one I'll show you is my second and last Halloween candle and this one is spooky buddies this what this one looks like it has the vampire on the front with bats and once again I got this packaging because as you guys can see the bats are clear so the light is gonna shine through the bats when you burn it and I think it's gonna be so pretty but this one smells like kind of fruity like a sweet like a cookie scent so let me look up what the notes were all right so this one the prominent scent notes are marshmallow monsters crystallized sugar vanilla bean and creamy milk so that smells like a cookie to me right that sounds like a cookie marshmallow crystallized sugar vanilla bean and creamy milk I love marshmallow oh this smells so good I love marshmallow I love vanilla bean cream milk this is something that I would honestly just other than the packaging but this scent is something that I would burn all year long I love vanilla scents marshmallows that's my go-to oh it smells so good y'all so this is probably probably my favorite one because <laughs> this is like my my go-to type of scent so cannot wait to burn this and it's fun because it's in the Halloween packaging it shows you how it looks um, when it's burning so I think that makes it fun for if you have kids who's into Halloween and stuff. So definitely had to get that one for the Halloween packaging. And lastly, we have this. And I believe this is the men's brand. They have like a men's line of candles that um, is in the black packaging. Not sure if this was one, but I know the men's line is in this black pack packaging. And I love this. And this one is called Pumpkin Heart Cider, and it just has a picture of, looks like cider. Um, looks like that tastes good. And um, let's go ahead and smell this one. Oh, yes, this one smells really good too. Just smells like a pumpkin cider, real warm and cozy smelling all right so it says the prominent scent notes in pumpkin heart cider are the top apple slices peach poached pear citrus the mid is zest the base is pumpkin spice cinnamon clove caramel caramel butter coconut and boozy vanilla so yeah it's amazing oh i cannot wait to burn this like this it definitely is like warm cozy fall i like this type of scent too and I think my husband will like it as well so and the packaging is just nice I like it simplistic black it looks really good so y'all that is it for my candle haul from Goose Creek and so far I'm really really loving Goose Creek I love the packaging I think they're very creative with their packaging especially for like seasonal 
packaging and decor and fun for the whole family. I love the packaging of the Halloween items. Even your regular fall candles. I love the pack packaging of those. And then the all black. Super sexy and it smells sexy, warm, cuddly. So yeah, this is going to be perfect for a nice cuddly night. I think this one will be. So yeah, um, I'm loving these candles, y'all. Comment down below if you've purchased anything from Goose Creek. I had never heard of them until like people started talking about them recently. And I feel like the first person I heard talk about them was Jasmine Buller. I think it's her name on YouTube. Y'all. But yeah, um, I had to go and get some. And their sales are a lot ba better than Bath & Body Works. I would say if you're comparing it to Bath & Body Works, their candles seem to be a little bit more stronger. Like they may project a little bit more. But I've only burnt one. So I haven't tried all of the candles. But so far, just like when you get the box delivered, you know how when you get Bath & Body Works candles, it's smelling up the whole box before you even open it. I didn't get that with these. So they're a little bit softer, but they do project and spread throughout the house and they smell great. So, and so far it looks like it's burning really good, but I'm, I'm enjoying the packaging and just excited to burn all of these. So yeah, comment down below if you try Goose Creek and um, if you plan on getting any candles, Halloween themed candles or fall candles from them, make sure you comment down that below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up. And once again, be sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.